DC how I said in one motion. This sucks. I can't remember what these are, but yeah, all of it. Yeah. Whatever time it is you guys are watching this, we're back. We got a lot of parts stacked in this corner. We're going to throw the cylinder head back on Tonka's motor. I have everything to reassemble and assemble a swap for Tonka, except for the oil pan. I ordered one, and they accidentally shipped me the wrong one. So uh, tomorrow, which is Monday, or today, as you're watching this, I'm going to get in contact with them, hopefully... We could send it back ASAP and get the new one here so we could get the long block fully assembled and everything else. But we have transmission, we have all sorts of other stuff there. I don't want to fully disclose what we have. We have our head gasket, ARP head studs, but I got this painted, cut, looking pretty good. I got... The headlight supports painted. I just paint matched it to the engine bay. The only thing that I didn't clear coat it. That's the only difference. But hey, it still looks really good. Let's start this vlog. So cylinder head. This is the cleanest I can get it. Some of it's just stained. It's oil free. We'll wipe it down. Uh, pause. Pause. We'll wipe it down before we throw it on the motor. Here's our head gasket. OEM K24 head gasket. There's the part number. Got it from Tri-State Motorsports. Give you guys a few seconds. And I wiped the block down. That's as clean as I'm going to get it. I've been working on it for a while. Some of it's just stained on there. And it, the surface where the actual head gasket is going to be is clean enough. So that's what we're working with. Here is our head studs from Tri-State Motorsports as well, part number. And then I got this off Amazon. This is going to be our cam holders. They sell these at Honda. They still sell them. So if you want Lyle or Honda, I don't have the Honda one as you can see, but that one will work good as well. So before I put you guys on the tripod, here are the specs. You can pause the video. So first stage will torque to 30. Once we get the cylinder head, head gasket and everything on, wait five, 10 minutes, let it cool down. Torque to 60 foot pounds, wait five, 10 minutes, let it cool down. And then the final stage will torque to 90 foot pounds and it won't Really have to worry about anything else. We could throw the rocker assembly on. And then the 10 millimeters, hand tight. Or not hand tight. You could just you just have to tighten it by hand. But if you want the torque spec, 8.7 <coughs> foot pounds. Excuse me. The 12 millimeters are 22 foot pounds. We'll do that together. And then we're going to change the cam gears, which I have over here. I have the lightweight exhaust cam gear and then a 50 degree VTC. I got this off eBay. Hopefully it's still good and it does not do a VTC tick, but I guess we'll find out. All right, guys, I changed my mind. So we're actually going to get our hands dirty first. So these are already prepped. And whenever we get the cylinder head ready to go, we don't have our hands dirty and covered in assembly lubricant. So ARP supplies this assembly lubricant. The only thing that we're not going to do is throw it on this little rod right here. So this is a uh, part that goes down and threads into the block. We won't put any on that. We're only gonna put it on the washers and these. So I have the lubricant right here. And all we're gonna do is just cover it up. 
There are some on there. All we're gonna do is cover it. So I'll get the hardware covered and be right back. Hardware is covered. This stuff, I don't know if you guys seen that meme, but uh, it says like touch any C's once and then they're covered in any C's. But uh, yeah, this this stuff might be worse than any C's, guys. This assembly lube. But this is enough. I'm going to go inside, wash my hands, and we'll start putting these studs in. All right, guys, so I got these head studs started. All we're doing is twisting it by hand. All we're doing. Making sure it goes in there straight. Again, I didn't put any assembly lubricant on the bottom of the studs. And then I have this 3 16 Allen wrench. Let's do a couple of these on camera. Maybe. Okay, this one's done. So all we're going to do, quarter turn. We're not running them down. We're not going to throw a socket on a gun. Done. I'm going to spray brake cleaner on a microfiber, a clean, brand new microfiber. Wipe this down. Wipe the surface of the cylinder head down. And then go wash my hands once again because I feel a little bit of oil on them. And then we'll install the head gasket, throw the cylinder head on, and torque them. Brand new, clean microfiber. Spray it down. It's gonna clean it up. Make sure it's not dirty. So you can use acetone as well, but brake cleaner still works. See, you still have a little bit of gunk on there. The deck of the block is clean. My hands are clean. I went and washed them again. Time to put the head gasket on. So I have the dowel pins set in here already. They're on the side of the water pump. The water pump's facing towards me. As you see at the back side right here, that's the oil filter. So a way to tell if your head gasket is facing the correct way or not is the letters and numbers will be facing up like this one. focused they're facing towards me so once you set it on here you'll know some some of them say up or something but the letters and numbers will not be facing down they'll be facing upwards facing towards you to where you can read it and that's the way to tell if your head gasket is facing the correct way so get these set now we'll wipe the bottom of the cylinder head and set the cylinder head on. I got the base of the cylinder head wiped down. Now, nice and easy. Line this up and slowly start setting it down. I need a little wiggle to get set or a tap. I got them snug down a little bit. I don't really do a specific torque spec. I just go from the inside out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and call it good. So with this, once you feel tension, you want to try to do it in one pull. So give yourself enough room. Make sure you're comfy. There's thirty. Thirty. 30. Also, real quick, make sure after you use it, even though it's going to be a few minutes, reset your torque wrench to zero. Even though we're about to use it in a couple minutes, do that before you set down and after you're done using it for the day. And we're back. Let's torque to 60 foot pounds now. My 
Alright guys, here's the last bit. 90 foot pounds. This is going to suck. So, I'll just record the whole thing. Damn. You see how I said? In one motion. This sucks. This fucking sucks. The fuck? There we go. Motherfucker. Oh, yeah, we're cussing. We're gonna start cussing in this vlog. This fucking sucks. Even though. This motor still has oil and stuff in it. I'm still putting some assembly lube where the lost motions are. Just to make sure that everything's doing alright. Just to make sure it doesn't hurt. Alright guys, finally got the valve train on correctly. Took me a second because there's would be one that would barely catch on the lost motion and then one over here and it'll just it'll definitely not liking me. So with these starting by hand as always and then just inside out like on other stuff 22 foot pounds and then I'm not going to tighten these ones yet because we haven't done the timing yet. So, we're actually, I guess I could do this. Have it on like this. And then whenever we do timing, I'll, I'll loosen it up. And we'll call it good. Well, guys, I'm going to need to go to the salvage yard or maybe rob some off of a cylinder head that I'm buying, a spare one. These bolts were stretching, as you can see. They're getting thin, and the threads are different than up here. So all three of these, well, one, two, three, on the exhaust side, weren't torquing down correctly. I could feel it about to click. And then it just give out. Well, I found the reason. But everything else is torqued correctly. It clicked. And I was going to say the tens I just did by hand. I didn't feel like torquing it because it is a 10. It's just a 10 millimeter. But that's about it. I can't use these. These would have snapped if I kept going. Thankfully, I was like, nah, that doesn't feel right. And then backed them out. But everything else is torqued. Well, that's not going to stop me. We're still going to finish this vlog. We'll rotate it to where we could get the cam locks in, the little tool. Take the gun, zap these off. Put the new gears on, torque them, and conclude this video. Alright, I'm disappointed in that. But as you can see, the gear is about to line up to TDC. So when you look right here, you can see that hole. And you just line that up and stick the tool in. Those are lined up. Now we'll take our 14, zap this off, take our 17, zap this off, swap the cam gears, and get them torqued. I got them torqued. I have the motor like this. I was standing right here. I had my crescent wrench right here because I don't have the correct size wrench. And I was standing here pushing down and keeping it level to torque it. Probably not the best way to do it, but when it's just you, I made it work. And this will conclude this video, everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Bummed out, but we'll get the correct bolts ordered. We'll get that fixed. 
next vlog we're probably gonna do oil pump i need to con uh, contact the company tomorrow when they're open get the correct oil pan on the way send theirs back because that's a downside of having lean motor mounts is the oil pan definitely sits lower to the ground and we don't want a hole in our oil pan so tonka's build yes i'm kind of speaking it but we're staying for now a uh, stock k24 a2 out of a 08 tsx upgraded oil pump lightweight exhaust cam gear and 50 degree vtc i wasn't paying attention to where i was aiming the camera but it's still gonna be pretty fun guys it's just upgrade components i know it should be proper i don't have to we have a fresh head gasket and stuff we have head studs and we're good to go so i'm doing this because if i decide to build it right now it's going to take longer and i want to you know i know you guys are ready to see tonka running also so we'll have fun with this for now but before i get out of here i know uh damn i can't think right now uh i haven't ate all day today i've only had red bull so bear with me uh my arm's tired too from holding holding the camera but This could be just my paranoia, maybe trauma, whatever you want to call it, right? I'm just want I just want to say something. I don't know if you need to hear it. The people who used to never come around used to just make fun of you, blah blah blah. Whatever whatever they used to do, right? They don't just start coming around for no reason. Something's up. Stay blessed, stay slaying, most importantly, keep gunning, stay dangerous, and I'll catch you guys next time. Good enough to keep any dust out. Just have two tins holding the side cover on. That'll work.